Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill, and today we are going to play with Oho. Or more likely, oh no. Yeah, this tier 8 heavy tank is quite a stinker, to be fair with you, but you know what? We are going to try to do our best to make it work. The main reason why we are playing with this vehicle right now is obviously the TIE 5 heavy is top of the tree and I haven't gotten a YouTube video with oh no for a very 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 long time so just to refresh our knowledge and uh, to try to make this cripple beast work. Listen, all in all Oho used to be one of the most idiot proof lines whenever you are getting towards the type 4 here, the type 5 here, the, the good things just starts, you know, because uh, you are on kind of relaxation with the derp guns and whatnot, but things have changed, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. And first things first, I do not think the Oho is decent um, with a derp gun, okay? I think it is absolutely a pile of kaku. I don't think it's a great tank, right? This is the most important thing and we need to start everything in this way. Now, after that, obviously there is more things to say. Uh, the gun of Oho is not that horrible, okay? You have 330 alpha damage, 215 millimeters of penetration, which is not the finest, but not the worst either. Uh, if you want to load the gold, you can go for uh, 253 millimeters of penetration. You know, you can boost this tank a little bit. Uh, and I just really want to highlight that. Um, against the higher tiers, obviously this is not uh, good enough by any shape or any form. But against the lower tiers, that could work just fine, and this is this is actually all right. I see the size two too, but he, since he is not paying attention at me, we can simply try to make a bit of the pressure here, and we will try to eliminate this light tank from the game. Now, first things first, this light needs to die, okay? He's pretty much causing crossfire for us, and we need to make sure we are going to eliminate him from the game. That is very, very important part of all of this. I understand there is Tiger 2 sitting somewhere um, around this area. In fact, a bunch of them. That is completely fine, but um, we just need to dig this light tank first. This light tank needs to die, fellas. Where exactly is this bugger sitting at? Huh. What is the correct decision for us to kill this light tank? I have no doubts he is sitting somewhere around this area, okay? I do not think that he escaped. Oh, Progetto, how are you doing? But you know what? Progetto is not the priority. Light tank is priority. Good. Light tank is dead. And now we can say hello for our uh, um, peaceful tigers. By saying peaceful tigers, well, since they are not paying attention at us, we are going to join the fight and we are going to start beating the living crap out of them. So, as you can see, it is half of the trouble. This tank can work in the certain situations and it is not um, that horrible whenever you are using the proper gun and whenever enemies are a bit clueless. I mean, this is this is what I need to say. Uh, in this situation, we are having a great time and we are enjoying ourselves. Um, if we would play against the tier 10s or against the... Um, uh, or against the opponents who knows how to play the game, would we have as much fun as we have now? Definitely not, okay? And this is important thing to highlight as well. So, in this game, this tank treated us well, yip yip hooray. In reality, if, if enemies would be smarter, if enemies would be better, and uh, let's say we would be a bottom tier, uh, it would be, we would have quite a bit of trouble. Anyway, so far so good. By the way, even looking into the score skill, what do you mean so far so good? You have 2.1 thousand damage. How you can say so far so good? Listen, the different tanks have a different uh, um, expectations, at least in my book, right? As an example, in this situation, once again, if I would play with Bazai, I would say, oh, this is awful score. Since we are playing with oh no, uh, we need to be happy with the breadcrumbs, if I can say so. All right, and we are back, fellas. So looking into all of this, looking into the score, 
we have 2.1 thousand damage, 300 assisting damage. That's not that horrible. It could have been significantly worse, right? Um, all in all, we are second by experience. We are third by the damage. We realize that that enemy team is weak. We made pressure and we spanked the living crap out of them. And we made 80,000 profits as well. That is very, very, very good. Um, okay, that's the first game. Let's cross our fingers. We will have better games now. Can I take my words back or it's impossible? Listen, this is very, very, very bad situation. We are playing in Malinovka. Well, luckily we are kind of top tier or we are playing against the equal tiers. But other than that, this is going to be hard. But you know what? That's uh, fair enough, I guess. What we are going to do, we are going to start our journey towards the hill. Um, I'm not entirely sure can I take the hill overall. The main reason being is I am just simply slow tank and this is not ideal for a slow tank, right? But we need to do what we need to do. Important shot, MTV is dead, excellent. Luckily he is eliminated from the game and enemies have minus uh, one light tank. And light tank and Prokurovka, Kempinovka field is pretty much uh, the driving force. It is the best uh, tank in a way in the game. Obviously, enemies still have Borat and overall uh, other medium tanks can definitely take abilities to spot, but that is okay. Now, since we know Borat was lurking around this area, we will go for a blind shot. Definitely I hit. Very, very good. Meanwhile, we are relocating a bit and we will shoot a bit to the left side. Maybe he relocated. Definitely he didn't. Okay, we are chilling. The thing is, we need to dig this Borat out of this position. It is very important. Borat is down. Okay. Now the situation is looking significantly better. We took our sweet time. Uh, we got a blind shot. Uh, pretty much two most important tanks out of this game. Uh, they are already out, so maybe it's not going to be as bad as I initially thought it's going to be. So, the first things first. Do we have any other alternative option but taking the hill? In my opinion, we do. We can take the safe defense parameter and we can play somewhere around this uh, those lines, okay? This is the first thing. And I have a feeling I'm going to do that. Now, logically thinking, fellas, and counting the guns. Enemies have at least six guns who are going on top of the hill. And we have one double penetrator, TS-54, he shot his pants, which is completely fair and it is fine. Um, so, at this point, I think all we can do, we can have a safe defense parameter here. Now, one more very, very bad thing which I really want to highlight uh, where this tank goes. Ooh. It's not even the camo, fellas. Camo is not a bad thing about this tank. Obviously, you do not have any or we do not have any, but that's not what I want to say. What I want to say is those two boobas up front. Pay attention how the gun is raising and how the gun is dropping down. Now we are aiming somewhere over there. If we are going through the booba, as you can see, reticle went from here to here. Now we are having a bit of the gun depression again like this and then booba again. And reticle is jumping all over the place. Uh, that being said, it is extremely uncomfortable to use this tank, okay? The gun all and all is not that bad, how the gun works overall. I don't really think this is like the worst tank in the world of tanks uh, with which you cannot hit a single shot. No, I don't really think so. But this gun depression over the booba is dreadful. It is truly annoying to play and it is maybe even disgusting to play with. And I believe people who played with Oho, you know exactly what I mean. Now, there is no rush. There is no need for us to get involved here. All we will try to do, we will try to punish this Liberty. That's about it. That's all we are going to do. Obviously, there is Tiger somewhere in the back. We can try to shoot him, uh, but it's not going to be the easiest um, thing ever. So at this point, we need to be simply patient, you know? 
take it easy, relax, no body skill, heavy tank sniping from the back, yeah, exactly, and I am the heavy tank which is still alive, uh, there is alternative options, I can try to make pressure like this and I could be dead, you know, and then complain about matchmaking or something else, sometimes those decisions are the finest ones that, you know, slow down big boy, slow down, just, just, slower gaming experience in a way, Mm hmm good very very good we are getting closer to the point whenever we will actually try to make pressure okay gold on now hopefully the gold will treat us well whenever Ooh, oh ho. hi there now whenever liberty will die i believe we can make a bit of pressure here this gun depression fellas this gun depression okay let's take our time to aim we fully aimed unfortunately we are missing the shot that's okay let's take our time no into cupola beautiful good good step by step little by little there is no pressure for us we just need to aim our shots and also whenever our team will realize that they can make pressure up front You know what? I'm pushing together with our Oho. I am going to use this Oho as a meatball. I know it sounds kind of bad and whatnot, but um, I think I will try to use him as a meatball while we are going on top of the hill. And whenever we are going to reach the hill, then we are going to uh, have a decent fight. Right? At least that's what I am hoping for. Yeah, let's try to hit them towards that direction that's okay oh is getting he's pretty much melting that is fine and now mr liberty let's try to aim for his cupola bad shot by me not much what i can change about this since i'm ashamed and here we go liberty is doing a good job he should load gold for obvious reasons you know because this is the right way to be the living crap out of this tank it's just the right way fellas nice excellent very very good now at this point i just simply feel like it's not even worth to go on top eh you should be a meatball go unbelievable Fellas, I should have used Oho as a meatball, not Oho use me as a meatball, you know? <laughs> this is what I feel. I feel like I got used. Okay. I am feeling pretty okay mm, now, and all we need to do, we need to make a bit of pressure. Now, how we are going to make pressure? We are not going to stop even for a second. We will try to go down just like so. And we know this Tiger 2 is pretty much dead meat. So, um, while our team will do initial clearing here, we are going to make a bit of pressure like this. This is not horrible, believe me or not. Yes, this is how low expectations do I have whenever I am playing Oho. I know it sounds weird because usually for me it is three to three and a half thousand with a tier eight. But whenever we are touching those um, those own nose or those uh, overall bad tanks, my expectation values are very very moderate as well, and I believe that is fair. Okay. Can we find a decent angle to spank this T-34-3? This is the question. Plus on top of that, Shrek never being spotted. So what I am hoping for, I am hoping that Shrek is sitting somewhere here. Excellent. Beautiful Shrek. Give me my assisting damage. Thank you very much. And here you go. This is how we fix this game completely. Now there is literally no problems whatsoever for us because we are going straight into the garage. That's okay. Believe me or not, that is okay. What I did not expect, I did not expect that I ISU relocated from here. I thought his triangle, so he doesn't have a keyboard. Um, if I would have been in a tiny touch more passive uh, or tiny touch more patient i believe we would gotten one more shot all in all it's not bad it's over 3000 combined and yes think about the map fellas think about the map if i would have made a decision to make hardcore pressure on top of the hill i would be probably the first one who uh, who died right so 
we play this battle well, even though if it if the score doesn't show that. Anyways, that is good. No, what do you have in Kempinovka? Skill? I I haven't died first, okay? I'm proud of myself. So 2,000 damage, uh, 1.1 thousand assisting damage, definitely not that bad, believe me. Definitely not that bad. All and all, by experience, we are in the sixth place. By the damage, we are in fifth place. Uh, and we lost 12,000 credits, which is fair enough, I guess. Not much what I can change about that. Okay, last but not least. Okay, last but not least, steps and counter battle. This is going to be a quite a hard one, but we will try to do our best. And as you can see, there is plenty of the people who are playing Go Horse. I cannot remember when I met so many of the oh no's in the game. Skill! Okay. First things first, we want to punish someone who will try to cross like this if they will have anyone, okay? If they will have anyone, we will try to spank them. Okay, Joch tank sitting here, fine. That is alright. What I want to see, I want to see this guy getting involved, okay? That's what I want to see. And now no rush whatsoever. Our E50 is play- Ooh. Shook, 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 shook. A uh, couple of the dance moves left, right and center. And now let's try to focus on the game. In fact, in, from the next shot, I am going to shoot some uh, some gold as well. I think this is exactly what we need to do. Let's take our time to aim. And unfortunately, we are bouncing. That is okay. And now, fellas, gold on. Skill, why are you shooting gold? Because I think this is the best option for us to do the things. We want to get any advantage uh, what we can, especially whenever we are playing with the tanks like, uh, like Oho, or I suppose to say, oh no. It's just, it's just the right way to do the things. Now, if this Conqueror will try to side scrap here, which he very well might, um, we are going to farm him. With a skill? Are you bullying the Conqueror with oh no? Well, as you can see, fellas. I'm not making this up, do I? At this point, all I care, I care to um, to find the decent angles to shoot the enemies. I don't really think this E50 will survive for a long time. And the main reason being is he is way too aggressive. All sniper schnitzels from here has uh, extremely good angle on him and it's just simply not that great. Um, now you might ask, Kill, I have a question. Why you are not making that much pressure here? And that is absolutely amazing question. But the most re important reason why am I not being aggressive to that level is it's because it's not worth it. You know, the risk is simply way too high. It, it is just not really worth it until now. Let's go. Listen, enemies are melting a bit, right? That is, that is not necessarily bad. In fact, I would say it is very, very good. Because now we can get here and now we can do some kind of silly goose trades. Why you are saying silly goose trades? Because E75 will eat me alive, obviously. Good. <coughs> As you can see, I'm taking my time to uh, shoot the weak spots of the E75 while aiming to his cupolas. And still not necessarily penetrating, so yeah. Quite a journey, fellas. Quite a journey. Not, not simple to play against the super heavy tank, you see? The E75 is pretty much as good as you are going to get in the tier. My aim is okay. Um, E75 is as good as you can get in the tier 9. And oh no, is as bad as you can get in the tier 8. So, as you can see, we are struggling a bit. But that is to be expected. That was bad shot. No complaints, no regrets. I definitely deserve this one. And I think I kind of need to get involved here. I understand the C-75 is mean. Okay, good, 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 good. Never give up, fellas. Even though we are grinding this pile of Kaku, it's far away from being a great tank. It's far away that we can reliably penetrate Maushan in the weak spot with a gold. But you know what? We are not going to give up. We will try to do our best, fellas. That's what we are capable of, and that's what we are doing. 
Oh no! I'm telling you, fellas, what a great name for this vehicle. Oh no! The other day when I was playing, uh, I can't remember what I was playing. Ah, Black Dog. I have met Oh No, and Oh No man uh, made a pressure through literally middle of the field. And you know what? I cannot blame him for that. I literally cannot blame him for that, fellas. Okay, that's what we have. There is still some room to get some use for us. And let's try to do that. Uh, skill, you fired a lot of gold ammunition. Absolutely, yes. But what do you expect me to do? To um, mount some kind of magical balls and destroy everyone? That is not simple, fellas. Not with uh, Oho. Believe me. We are just trying to do our best with a weak tank, and that is okay. Look at my brother from other mother. Oh, ho. Blah, 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 blah. The biggest question which I have is how we are going to decap the base. This is the biggest question which I have, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Because this is not going to be simple. How we can approach enemies... So we are not going to get farmed by them. And we can spank them. Hmm? Honestly, I think I kind of need to slow down here. I will play aggressively even though I think I should be a bit more passive. Um, I just simply think this is the right way, but let's go. The thing is, I cannot um, let my brother from other mother die, okay? So we are pushing together. He's going towards this side, I'm going towards this side. Both of us are having a blast and we are enjoying ourselves. Good, very, very good. Progetto is being greedy, greedy piglet. Very, very nice. I like greedy piglets, Progettos. Uh, cow is getting spotted here as well. IMBT, I see this IMBT. It is okay. Actually, it's not that okay. I thought it is going to be significantly better to be fair with you okay good shot just like so very very nice and now cow is dead okay we did some clearing here you see fellas that's what i'm talking about never give up it doesn't matter how hard it is never give up and in this game we have a very 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 good score even for the tier 8 other tanks not only oh you know we have a very, very good score overall, so all we need to do, we need to be smart and we need to keep up the pressure, uh, or I suppose to say, to keep up moderate pressure. Meanwhile, excellent, he is making a mistake here, this is exactly what I want to see. Two seconds left, can we spank him once again, pretty please? No, not really. And I need to be afraid of that guard sitting here as well. As you can see, guard is trying to get involved and to get a piece of me as well. Come on. Come on. We got this. We got this, fellas. Pixel shot. Can we? Actually, we can. Let's try to survive as long as we physically and possibly can, fellas. Wow, what a heavy lifting with a tank like Oho. You know, whenever you have no expectations, uh, and whenever you are having a game like this, it feels great. Honestly speaking, it feels great. Even though for other tier uh, uh, 8 it would be, oh, okay, that is fine game. You know, for this tank it feels even better than that. It feels like it is absolutely glorious. And we have, and we have a Škoda. Hey, 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 don't you dare to shoot. It's not victory yet. Guard will eliminate Škoda. No! No! Unfortunate, fellas, unfortunate. Let's go for another one, just like so, and hopefully we will survive the game. I'm trying to make us a hard angle to penetrate as possible, and we are alive. Beautiful. Fellas... We made oh no work. Listen, I was before recording this video, I I knew the tank is not that good, okay? I was very, very, very well aware of that. I had absolutely no expectations whatsoever. Um and I want to 
replay with those outdated tanks as well and to say you know they are not that great especially if uh, if we have new world of tanks players searching for oho gameplay and whatnot or for uh, old school wolves as well if you are preparing to mark the tank and whatnot right this is definitely important thing to say anyways all and all we finished everything with a solid ace i am super happy about this thank you very much game i appreciate you Mwah. We got 4 kills, we got 4.3 thousand damage and 1000 assisting damage. All in all, very, 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 very solid game for a tank like Oho, truly. Uh, and on top of that, we are getting a healthy bill for ourselves, which is 30 minus 35,000 because I was shooting quite a, a lot of gold. But, you know, it's not a big surprise by any shape or any form. Uh, in the end of the day... That last game fixed our session and we have 2.8 thousand damage and 800 assisting damage. Very solid result for disgusting tank if you would ask me. But hey, I'm not complaining. I am feeling pretty good. So fellas, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed Oho in action. I hope you had a great time. Uh, and just to wrap everything up, no, this tank is not good. And no, I do not recommend to play with this vehicle. I do not see how this vehicle is funny or how this vehicle is enjoyable overall. It's just, it's just a meatball of the world of tanks. I personally, whenever I see this tank, I look at it as meat. You know, I see meat on the bone. That's about it. So when we have this out of the way, thank you very much for watching and see you very, very soon. Skills out for today. Peace.